Now that I've changed the bird, which I should have checked out before, I'm going to now, from the hole, go down the claw. Get some oil on this burr. I make an indentation because this is where the corner facets underneath the pavilion of the stone will be resting against. This is a bit de a delicate because you're making an indentation on a very fine claw. And if the burr is not sharp, it's going to be skipping, skipping around the claw all the time. So make sure your burrs are sharp. I finish this process. I'm going to examine it. Now what I'm going to do now is something a bit above and beyond. On the, on the back of the shiv, on the back of the gallery, I'm going to just skim the surface because maybe I have a very deep pavilion on the stone. So I'm going to try and remove it. This could happen, so you have to be very careful and very thoughtful of how the stone is going to be sitting against the gallery. That being done, I'm going to now make an indentation for the girdle of the stone on either side of the claw. This is where the girdle of the stone is going to be resting against. This is a bit difficult. Why you have to move the claw sideways. Now you'll see why I move the claws further apart. So I can get my drill inside. I'm going to check the stone now to see how it's sitting. How oh, wonderful. Get that out of there. I'm going to get my uh, wax daub. Fantastic. It's going to be looking very, very nice. And yes, I'm glad I removed that metal from inside the gallery. I'm checking with a loop because it could have been sitting against it. And if I bring the claws in, goodbye stone. If this was a diamond, that would be you know, like a, a $5,000 mistake. And we don't want mistakes, do we? Nope, not at all. Just going to check it once more. Got to make sure at all the times that the stone is sitting. Parallel. And it's not going to be crooked. The corners have to be sitting right inside that hole I made inside the claw. Remember, I don't want to have any metal touching the corner of the stone. So now we're gonna cut. We got that done. I'm gonna get my pair of pliers. Yes, I'm gonna use my pair of pliers with a serrated edge. Do not close the claws in this configuration. That you're causing a lot of stress. And goodbye, stone. We don't want that. We don't want mistakes. What I'm gonna do is slowly bring in the claw, very carefully. Little movements of both of these claws. Check again, make sure it's looking nice. Is this scary? Yes. Difficulty out of a 10, I'll put this about a 15 or 20. Notice I hold and I rotate the bottom part of the clamp because I don't want to move the stone with my fingers. I'm looking. I am looking basically at the upper part of the chevron on the bottom part. I do not bring in the whole corners. I want those corners to be free of any metal.
This will take a couple of minutes. My gosh, guess what? People, stone's tight. How long did it take? Just a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to make sure that the claws are equal distance. Make sure the camera can see everything. Making sure that there's equal distance between the claws at all times. There we go, you can have a look. Well, right now we're going to stop the video and. Uh